This is our first winter of living in the mountains, and it is far more enchanting than I thought it would be. The snow comes, it lasts for a day or two, and then it's gone, leaving beautiful days of sunshine. I find it so cathartic to get out and breathe the clean, crisp mountain air and feel the sunshine or snowflakes on my face. Sometimes I take my projects and work on them as I walk. Sometimes I take a hot cuppa and sometimes I capture it on camera, but most times I just walk, listening to nature or music but always talking to God. When I walk alone, there often seems to be a red bird following along. I know it's my dad. In times when there are several, I feel Grandma Ruby dancing with him. Those are more often days when I need just a little extra love to get me on my way. Life isn't all giggles and kicks. Like everyone else, we have our trials. Life has been hard. Life is hard. But this isn't the time or space for that. Not today. Today, I want to focus on Jesus' words of John 4 of the Bible. If you would ask, I would give you gushing waters of endless life. That's my focus in the midst of the storm. I'm going to try my best to receive gushing waters of endless life. Welcome to our yom, our yurt, our yom, sweet yom. <sighs> are you loving winter? Or it might be summer where you are. I don't know, but I'm loving winter, as you could tell in the videos at the beginning of the little yurt cast. Here I am sitting in our living area of the yurt. This back here is my little crofter's nook that I've recorded from before. But I'm sitting on the sofa. I've got a little sheepskin that we have on the back. This is um, a tapestry that we bought at um, Brooklyn Flea Market one year. Back in the day when you could go to New York City and just have all the fun. But here we are. I think this is episode 37 of the Ruby Moss Cottage podcast. And it is, um, I think we'll just call this 21-01 of Yurtcast. New year, new beginnings. Speaking of new beginnings, what is in my bags? Well, I only have two things in my bags. So, one I'm not even going to talk about. I'll show it to you really quickly. But this is something that I am going to love and I'm going to wear all the time. This is still in my bags, but isn't it beautiful? It is the Jane shawl. I'll show you a picture of it right here. I just happened to have it handy. Get the front of the pattern. That right there, can you see that? So as you can tell, I have a long way to go, but it is such an enjoyable crochet that I feel like I just take my time enjoying each color because I don't want it to end. Even though I know I'll enjoy wearing it, it is such a, an enjoyable make. And this really makes me realize, really makes me realize, I want all my makes to be this wonderful. I want all of my makes just be such a pleasure to sit down and, and work on. I mean, life is just too short to work on something that you don't enjoy working on, right? This is made from, 
I made my own little scrappy ball. She gives you, um, the pattern is by Nene Makes, and she gives you all the information that you need on how to make one. I have this much left, so I'm going to have to make more. But it's just scrap yarn that I have. And actually, I say it's scrap yarn, but some of them were uh, full balls that I just started unraveling and working from. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so colorful and bright and cheery. That's in my bags. And then one other thing that I have in my bags is this. And um, let's just all take a moment to laugh out loud because the last time I podcast, I think I said I'd have it done in a week. Cue the laughter. This is the, the pattern and it's I'm making it for a friend. She's commissioned me to make it for her. And um, thankfully, she is a very patient friend because I did finish the back last night. I'm going to show you how long this back is. I mean, I just hope you get the concept. So, you know what? I'm going to go really, really slow so you have time to think. She did that stitch by stitch by stitch by stitch. This thing goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's just a big chunky sweater. Uh, not chunky, but just a big oversized sweater. But isn't that color beautiful? The patterns by We Are Knitters. And this is their yarn, and I love it. I would, ah, oh, I want to make something for myself from this yarn. It's so beautiful, and it's so nice to work with. That's the back. I still have two sides, the arms, and I do believe there might even be, no, thank God there's no pockets. So I, I started the, uh, the one side last night. I'm good. That, that is not one of these just love every stitch that you make patterns. But she she commissioned me to make it for her. And so I said, of course, that was back in November. And here we are, January. But I did tell her that I could not commit to a time frame and that I did not know how long it would take me. So I don't feel too bad. That's all that's in my bags that I'm working on that I can think of actively working on. I've got other things in my bags. I have one project that I think I've alluded to. It's a crochet project that I'm working on. And it too is something that I say every week. This is the week it's going to get finished, but this is the week it's going to get finished. We're at Thursday, so I have a few more days left. That's what, the, that's what I'm working on. What in the world have you been doing? We've had Christmas. We've had New Year's. I hope everybody's year is off to a good start. We've had a few hiccups here, um, but we're working through it. And um, like I said in the intro, this is not a place to just think about all of what's wrong with life. This is our moment, our happy moment. It's like I always say, I don't read books. You know, people will say, go to the movie, go to this, see this movie. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You'll just cry or read this book. Oh, it's so good. You'll just cry. And I'm like, well, why would I want to do that? I go to the movies and I read books to escape real life. I mean, I can cry in real life all day long. I want to go to movies and books to, to find enchanted fairy tale joy. And so that's what I want the podcast to be. I want it to be for someplace for you to escape reality and just, I mean, please understand as you're watching, this is my highlight reel and you're not seeing behind the scenes. I don't ever want to be pretentious or um, acting like life is all perfect. It is not. Remember that. Always remember that. Um, but I do feel like we just need a place to go and check out sometimes and just enjoy and breathe. And I hope that's what this space will do to you and not bring discouragement thinking, well, goodness, doesn't she have it all together? Although you probably know I don't by watching. But in case there is one person out there that thinks that I don't, okay? We are loving the yurt life, but it was a hard road to get here, and it's a road that no one wants to take. So, 
but we're here and we are making the most of what we've been given. And we realize that deep, 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 deep down in our hearts, this was probably what we longed for all along and didn't know it. it took some hard times to, to reveal it. And so having said that, let's get back on to the, the, the giggles and kicks and fairy tales and all this wonderful uh, page of the podcast. But yeah, so new year, new beginnings. Um, and speaking of that, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. This is not going to be a long podcast, a long yurt cast. Um, but there were just a few things that I did want to touch on. The Anne with the Mal. Anne with a Mal. The Anne with an E Mal that is going to be starting now. Um, it's going to be a year long make along. I, I told you before that. I'm watching the Anne with an E series. Now I'm watching it again because it's just so good. I love, 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 love that, that series. It's on Netflix. And um, so there are so many handmaids in there. Oh my goodness. There's knit, there's crochet, there's cross stitch or, or needlework. Um, there may even be quilting. I don't know. But there's just so much. So I'm having... A year-long make-along, and it's Anne with an E, Mal, M-A-L, for make-along. So use that hashtag when you post on Instagram, so I will be able to see it. Now, this is all-encompassing. I don't even care if you have something that you've already made, and you're watching the show, and you say, I think my cardigan looks like that, or whatever. Post a picture of it, put it on Instagram using that hashtag. I'm going to draw winners sporadically, probably every quarter. Speaking of that, if you are a maker of any kind and you want to, to sponsor the make along, I would greatly appreciate that. I, I really don't have the money to do much. So if we could come along and make this a collaborative effort, I would love that. And I would be so honored to promote your product here and then we can pass it along to someone else to get your name out there. Um, so, yeah, just get in touch with me. DM me. Mess probably DM me on Instagram or email me would be the best way. Email not so much because if I'm not looking for it, it may go to, to junk or spam. So, probably DM me on Instagram or just leave a message below here and I can get in touch with you. But, so, that, even if it's a baking thing, because, you know, Marilla's always in there tea party, whatever, anything that you're doing in life that's going to kind of make you think, ah, oh, this looks like, this feels like an Anne with an E setting, put the, the make along on there because I think it's just going to be fun. But I'm going to start with, um, it's the, wa the campsite waffle cardigan. Look that up. It's on Ravelry and Instagram. It's by two of wands. And Alexandra has been so kind and generous enough to give us a coupon code at checkout. And it takes a dollar off of her patterns. So I will put all of that in the information box of this podcast. And hit that link and it'll take you to her site. So all you have to do is put Ruby Moss Cottage in when you check out. And then you'll get a dollar off of her patterns. She told me that she really can't do anything with Lion Brand Yarns, but... They're always running sales, always. As a matter of fact, I got on last night to check on this, the, the um, cardigan that I'm going to do, and the kit was only $41. So, I mean, you can't, what can you make for $41 when it comes to hand knits? I mean, like a, a big project like that. So this cardigan makes me think so much of, of the one that Marilla wears a lot on the show. I'm going to make that. I don't think I'm going to make it in that color because that's just not um, my color, that shade for me, but I am going to make that cardigan. And so I want to get started on that, but I don't know how soon I'm going to. If you, if you message me and say, hey, I want to do that with you, then that'll motivate me to get the ball rolling and so I can get started on that. But there are so many hand knits on there. There's so many crochets. There's just so much on that show that um, I don't think you're going to have a problem finding something to knit. I want to do one of the, the scarves that they all, the, that I think um, Anne and then her friend uh, wear uh, all the time. Um, Diana? 
is that the, her friend's name? I'm blanking right now. It's just a, a garter stitch. It's just knit, 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 and it's really wide. And so it looks like it's either a worsted or chunky weight. That's what I want to do. I want to make one of those too, because that's just like the typical throw and go. Um, I want to make maybe several of those. So please, please, please do this with me so that we can just have a year of fun. Another thing that I want to say is most podcasts have a Ravelry group that they interact with. I have a Ravelry group on Ravelry, but it is not active. I have not been on there in ages, and I really don't have time to do that. So I thought what we could do is use the hashtag on Instagram, Ruby Moss Cottage Podcast. Now, I use that a lot. So if you would go onto that hashtag now, you're going to see just about everything I've ever posted to Instagram within the last year. If you do that, if you use the hashtag Ruby Moss Cottage Podcast, and then you follow that hashtag, you're going to see anything that anybody posts to that hashtag, it's going to show up in your feed. Whether you follow them or not, it's going to show up in your feed. So I'm hoping that if we all start using that when we post anything that we would post on a Ravelry group or anything that we want our, our little community here to see, that we'll make friends that way. Like you're going to see things pop up in your feed from Ruby Moss Cottage and you don't follow this person, but you really love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going to be able to make a comment on her post. You're going to be able to follow each other. That's this way. We're going to, it's just going to open up this community of our podcast. I'm going to carry it over to Instagram. I just thought that would be fun um, because we don't have that community on Ravelry. So this may just draw us a little closer. This is an awesome group. I talk to you, you talk to me, but this will be a way of talking to each other. So let's just give it a try and see what happens. So those are the two hashtags you need to be using all the time. Ruby Moss Cottage Podcast and the Anne with an E Mal. So all of this will be in the description bar in case you can't remember those hashtags and you, you just, you need all the information. Just go there. Everything I talk about should be there. All right. That's what I wanted to hop on to is so we could get started with the Mal and we could get started with using the two hashtags. So I have finished a few things. I'm going to put the videos in here that I've taken because I need to shorten my podcasts. My Yurtcasts need to be shorter because my internet system up here is not the best. So the shorter the video, the shorter, the shorter amount of time it'll take to upload. And so I may be recording more often so that we can connect more. Instead of longer podcasts, there'll be shorter podcasts and they will be more often. Does that make sense? Does it sound fair? Is it something you think you would like to see me more often? Because I know I like to interact with you more often. All right, that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, I guess. Hopefully this will upload and you'll, it'll be your weekend and you'll have a wonderful weekend. And, then maybe we'll be back together before the start of next weekend. I think we're getting more snow tomorrow. It's kind of melted now. I did go on a little walk earlier, so there wasn't a lot of snow out there. The sun's shining. It's a bright and sunny day at the yurt. I'm going to show you a little clip. I think what I'll do is go ahead and do a short little video of, of the yurt. I haven't done that yet. I've promised it so many times, and I always forget. So I'm going to insert it here so that you can start your year off knowing how I'm living, where I'm living, and we can just feel a little, I just all about connecting this, this, this year, especially with you, because you've all loved on me so much, and you're just such an awesome group, and I love you, and I thank you so much for following me, and I just pray blessings into your year, and I'm, I hope that we have so many wonderful makes that we do and discover together, and we change the world one make at a time, be kind, and remember that in all you do, take it one stitch at a time. Mwah. So if you're walking in the door, I'm at the door. This is to the right of the door, and it's a mess, but all crofters, you understand, right? Right there is my pile of things to be mended and fixed. Ah, 
All right, enough of that. There's my yarn, some of it. There's some more over there. And there's some more in that yellow cabinet that we will get to. And you come on in, there's the steps, makeshift steps up to the loft, which is just storage right now. There are some of my, a basket of shawls. And behind those barn doors uh, is the bathroom. And the sun decided to come out now that I'm finished podcasting. There's our bedroom area, our sleeping area. And then back in there is the washer and dryer. But this cabinet has more wool under there and then sweaters up here. Uh, do I dare open it? It might be a mess. I cannot remember. Uh, kind of messy, but you can see a little bit of it. Then this is our living area. This is where we sit together. He and me. There's all my knitting and crofting stuff. This is where he plays blackjack. And then we watch TV. There's my painting easel. My collection of rosaries. This is our tea and coffee station with our mugs. This is my lemon tree. This is our outback. You can see my little snow lady there. She's melting. And then this is our kitchen area. And the dome. My view from the back door. I'm sure there's some messes. But this is our living. So much to do. But it's our yom, our yom, sweet yom.